Joy Tofer, how are you? I'm good, Joy. Hey, it's great to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you too. Yeah, it's been a while. It seems like uh, only yesterday we were in the woods uh, climbing trees, climbing redwoods, but uh, it's been quite a while these days, actually. I know. It just seems like yesterday, but it has changed since then. So much has changed since then. Uh, We've been inside for months now, which is kind of weird. I'm so used to being out in the the, the forest, you know, almost the last few years of my life. I've been (laughs) off in the woods. Uh, So being back inside for this long is kind of weird. Yeah, this is clearly your life work as the Rainforest Connection is using technology and AI to protect rainforests around the world. Can you share with us how you came up with the idea to launch the Rainforest Connection? For me, I just happened to be in kind of the right place at the right time. I was in Indonesia volunteering at a given reserve um, in 2011 and realized that uh, this one given reserve that's had like full-time guards, they actually were not be able to stop the illegal logging. Uh, because it's pretty hard to sort of walk through the woods and catch loggers off in the middle of nowhere. I figured that there was pretty good cell phone service in the area, which there was. There was no electricity, no running water, no roads, but there was cell phone service thanks to, you know, companies like Huawei. And uh, we're able to use these old phones to sort of hack together a little solution so that we could hear the sounds of chainsaws out of the noisy sounds of the forest and send alerts over that same cell phone network uh, back to the rangers and the guards so they could show up and stop it. Uh, that was the idea. It took me well over a year to actually build it Uh, because it turns out building something that works in the rainforest is pretty hard. Uh, But that's why we use old phones, because they're built like little tanks, and even the old ones last a long time. So once uh, these treetop monitoring systems have identified uh, a fire or illegal logging is taking place, what happens next? Um, So that's probably the hardest part of our job, is to build these partnerships with, uh, with local groups. Unfortunately, that's actually a very surprising fact, is that there's people all over the world uh, who, if given the right resources, if given the right help, if given the right recognition, they will stop illegal logging. So we build these partnerships with indigenous tribes, in some cases with governments, like in the Philippines. That was a, a partnership that Huawei actually built uh, for us. But in all these cases, you know, the sound gets sent up to the cloud. We'll pick out the sounds of, uh, of danger, whether it be trucks or chainsaws. And using the, cell, uh, the same cell phone network, we'll send an alert back through an app that runs on the phones uh, of the people there on the ground so they can show up and stop it and coordinate uh, in real time. So all the analysis happens in the cloud using uh, models that are trained on, on model arts, uh, which is a kind of Huawei cloud initiative. So how many guardians have been deployed around the world? Well, there's hundreds of guardians that, that have been deployed um, and they don't, always, they don't always last forever, but we put it up in 14 countries on five continents. Um, but really the, the most exciting moments are what's coming next. So we've entirely new hardware we built, entirely new networks that are out there um, and entirely new partnerships that Huawei helped us build. So. Uh, just this year, there's, uh, there's five new territories that we're expanding into uh, just thanks to, um, to the partnerships that Huawei built uh, in the Philippines, in Africa, in Europe, um, and all over the place. As part of our partnership, Huawei engineers work with scientists and biologists to use machine learning technology to analyze the sound of spider monkeys. Could you speak to that as well? Yeah, um, this for us was just kind of a dream until we started meeting with, uh, with some of them, you know, data scientists and uh, an ecologist that Huawei brought to the table. Uh, we were working with a group in Costa Rica to try and uh, to track spider monkeys. Like, how can you track spider monkeys as they move through the forest? But we went to the Huawei uh, engineers and they said, look, you know, just knowing where the monkeys are, that's not really a high enough bar. Uh, we think that we'd love to do that for you. We think we can do even better. Like, can we actually understand spider monkey language? Can we differentiate the different calls of spider monkeys? Can we, can we look for calls of distress, happiness, of comfort, all these different ways. And so um, just working with these engineers has kind of raised that bar. Um, and so through the tools we're building now, we can make it possible to, to annotate and go in and figure out what these different calls are, hand those off to uh, both model arts in Huawei and the engineers that are there. And they build models to help us understand these different uh, calls. That's absolutely amazing. So what's next for the Rainforest Connection? Well, the next thing for us, uh, there's two big things. Uh, we want to expand into more areas because again, it's not, it's not enough for us to be just working in the areas that we are. Um, we want to be able to say that we're protecting large amounts of forest. Uh, we're pleased that there's thousands of square kilometers of forest that we currently have under our belt. That may sound like a lot, but it's really not compared to the amount of forest that needs to be protected. And this is really the, uh, the most important moment for us to do it. Because um, again, fighting climate change, one of the best ways to do it is to protect forests. 
Uh, and the next big thing for us as well is in the realm of, again, bioacoustics. We're releasing this RFCX platform in collaboration with Huawei and other partners uh, to allow any scientist, any enthusiast, anybody, anybody who's watching this uh, to kind of jump on, get access to any of these amazing audio streams from the most remote parts of the world. Look back a year ago and feel, find out what it sounded like at five o'clock in the morning when the sun came up on this, this remote island. We'll help bring the, that amazing data set combined with AI from Model Arts so that you can curate it and look through it and find the things you're looking for. Uh, we think it's this amazing encyclopedia and like an audio arc of life. Uh, and it's only through these tech collaborations like that we have with Huawei, we're able to offer this. That's great to hear. Tolfer, thank you so much for talking with me today. I'm so fascinated by the work you do and appreciative of the partnership between Huawei and the Rainforest Connection to use technology to protect our world. The appreciation is all ours. We couldn't do it without you and with all the work you've done. And uh, hopefully this is just the beginning of, of some really amazing stuff together. Thanks, Joy. You're the best. Thank you.